Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to manually sharpen the chain on your chainsaw. Now you're going to be able to use this method whether you're at home or in the bush cutting wood. It's a quick and inexpensive way to sharpen your chainsaw and anybody can do it. So what you're going to need today is a flat file, a round file, the chain guide, there's two different models here, and also a file with this guide on it if you're not used to doing this. If it's the first time you're sharpening a chainsaw manually by hand, it may be good for you to have this part here on your file and one of these guides here. Now before you start this procedure you want to make sure your chain is well adjusted. If it's too loose it's going to be really hard to sharpen it. Now you're going to find it much easier to do if your saw is in a vise like this. So you want to put it in like that to do this side then when you sharpen the other side just flip it around. You want to make sure that the chain doesn't hit on the vise here. Also underneath here, you don't want the chain to be hitting the vise over here. The chain has to be able to move freely like this. To sharpen this chain today, I'm going to use an 1164th file. That's the size of the diameter of the file itself. Here are other popular sizes, 532, 316, and 732, which are much bigger. And 532 is a bit smaller. Now this guide here is from Still. You can see the logo. It's a bit different up top here, but it's the same principle as using this southern one here. Now before we get started, I'll just show you briefly how to use this. Basically what you want to use this for is to keep the right angle when you're sharpening your chain. So this is 35 degrees, 30 degrees. So the way this works is you put it over the links that you're going to sharpen. So we're going to sharpen these ones here to start with. And you just want to get the right angle on there. Usually I'll sharpen my chains at about a 30 degree angle. So you would put the guide over here. And basically what you want to do is to sharpen the chain in that direction. So I'll show you how to sharpen a few links and then I'll put the guide back on to make sure we're going in the right direction. Now to sharpen your chain, like I mentioned previously, you want to make sure you've got the right size file for the size of your chain. Now you want to insert your file in the teeth of the chain. So go in the forward direction and just sharpen the chain. Don't push on the file when you're going backwards, only forwards. Also when you're sharpening your chain you want to keep the file level so that the teeth get sharpened evenly and straight. You don't want to be sharpening like that or like this. So nice and straight like that. Now after you've sharpened the few, you can grab your tool again, put it against the bar like that, and make sure that the angle matches the angle on the teeth. So just check like that, and that's good. I'm gonna sharpen it at 30 degrees. Now you can also use the file here with the guide on it. This may be easier for you. Now I'd say if you're a beginner at sharpening your chainsaws, this would be the best tool for you because all the angles are right there on the tool. 30 degrees and it shows the marks. Also the guide that's on the file helps you to keep the file straight when you're sharpening your chainsaw. So you would stick it on and just push like that. Always make sure you keep it level when you're sharpening. So if you wanted to sharpen your chain at 35 degrees, you would follow these marks. All you do is you line it up and then it gives you the proper angle on the teeth. So if the angle is not lined up like that, then you know it's not on right. So basically the line here is going to match up nice and straight with the teeth and then you know you're sharpening it in the right angle. If you wanted to go 30 degrees, you'd follow the mark where it says 30 degrees. And you would just repeat the process. What you would do if you're sharpening your saw, line it up and then keep it nice and level and put a bit of pressure on the file only when you're pushing forward. Now when you sharpen your chain it's important that you give the teeth the same amount of strokes on each one. So if I give it five strokes on this tooth I would do the same for the rest of them all around. Now if you're not sharpening chainsaws and you're not sure if you're going to remember if you sharpened a certain tooth, you can always mark it with a marker like that. Then when you come around, 
and you come back to this marked one, you know you've sharpened them all. You might want to wear protective gloves while doing this because when you turn the chain it may be sharp. You could cut yourself so it's always safe to do that. And I'm going to give each tooth six strokes. And then move the chain forward and go on to the next. Now once you get used to sharpening chains, you may not need the guide around the file. You're going to get used to keeping the angle properly when you sharpen your chains. Now when you're sharpening your chain, you're going to want to clean your files once in a while because the shavings build up inside the file here and they won't cut as good. Also try to keep your files free from oil. It seems to want to trap in the dirt in the file and then they don't cut as good as well. You can always put a bit of pressure on the file toward the teeth, not much. It helps to sharpen it quicker. I like holding my files at the other end here, like that. Some people prefer going with just one hand like this. Now the teeth that are sharpened are going to be nice and shiny like that. And be careful after you've sharpened it. Now once you're done sharpening the teeth on the one side, here's where this tool comes in handy again. Not only can you check to make sure the angles are good, but with this end of the tool here, you can make sure that the guides are filed down enough. So you would set the tool over the tooth like this, and you would look at the guide here, and if it's protruding, you would just file it down. So you can see that the guide on this tooth is pretty flush with the tool, so I'm just going to file it once or twice. And that's good. Now when you check the guides, if they don't protrude, then you don't need to file them down. The more that these guides are filed down, the more your chain's going to bite. But that's not necessarily good all the time either, because it can bite too much and bog down your saw. If they're not down enough, what's going to happen is even though your chain is sharpened, it's not going to cut either. Another use for the flat file is if you have teeth that aren't on the right angle, you can correct it with the flat file. Now what you would do is put your flat file in a vertical position like this and just file it on the angle that you're sharpening your chain. So 30 degrees in this case. Maybe once or twice. And then it brings the angle back in the way it should be. And now you check it with your tool here to make sure the angle is right. Then after that, just run your round file and sharpen it up. At this point here, I'm done sharpening that side and checking the guides. I'm going to flip the saw over and do the other side. And now repeat the process on the other side. Check your angles on the tool here. 30 degrees is here, 35 is here, and line them up with the teeth. So I'm going to give the teeth on this side of the chain six strokes each. What happens is if you don't give the teeth the same amount of strokes, is some teeth may be sharper than others, and that can make it hard to cut in a straight line when you're cutting firewood. Again, remember to only apply pressure to the file when you're pushing forward. So now again, you would repeat the process on this side until you're all done sharpening all the teeth on that side. And now that I'm done sharpening the chain, I'll take a guide and check it. This is a different guide. It's not made by steel, but this one you would insert it over the teeth like this. Now with this tool here, if I had to file the guides, I would just go in here. I prefer using this tool here. I find it a bit easier when it comes to sharpening the guides. So if you want to use these tools, you can choose between these two. Now when you sharpen a chain, you're going to notice a lot of shavings are going to come off. Like you can see here, that's normal. And eventually when your chain gets worn out, the teeth are going to be much smaller 
then you know you need to replace it. There's all the shavings that came off. Now when you're in the bush cutting wood, you're not going to have a vise with you. So I'll take the saw outside and I'll show you what you can do to make that easier for yourself. So if you're in the bush, you can cut a sliver inside of a log, put the saw in like that and hold it, then you can sharpen your chain. So now I'm going to start it up again, do a few test cuts there just to show you guys that the chain is sharp. So I hope that this video has helped you learn how to sharpen your own chainsaws at home. Always remember to be safe while doing this. Wear gloves. You could also wear safety glasses because sometimes the shavings can fly and go in your eyes. And another tip, try not to get oil on your file. Well, thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.